Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And hello for those who are listening right now. Here we are from group 5. We'll be present to you our assessment in topic phrasal verbs. Let me introduce my group members. They are Mr. Muhammad Fairudi bin Muhammad Jamil, Madam Dayang Nur Sidah, Madam Aida Shahida, Mr. Muhammad Zailani, Mr. Muhammad Hamli, Mr. Muhammad Helmi, and Mr. Zarif. Okay, let's go to a prazal verbs. A prazal verbs is a verbs plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is a verb. Off is a particle. I put off my trip. Equal to I postpone my trip. The verb and the particle have a special meaning. When you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning will change. Put plus off equal to to postpone. Put plus on equal to to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back equal to to return something to its original place. Put plus away equal to to put something in its original place. Some prazal verbs have more than one meaning. Example, keep on equal to to continue. Keep on equal to not to remove something. Take off equal to remove. Take off equal to leave. They are very common, especially in informal English. Here is kinds of prazal verbs. Prazal verbs divide by two parts. First, transitive. Second, intransitive. Transitive will be have three parts. It is separable, insparable, must be separate. Insparable have one more part. It is three word verb. Transitive present verbs. These verbs have objects. Example, are you writing down these notes? I haven't called Mr. Wilson back. In transitive prazal verbs, these verbs do not have objects. Example, Tony's car broke down. Jen grew up in a small town. Sparable prazal verbs. Most prazal verbs are sparable. The verb and the particle can be separate. When the object is a noun, you can... Put the noun after the particle. Example, Jimmy put on his coat. Or, put the noun between the verb and the particle. Example, Jimmy put his coat on. When the object is a pronoun, you must put it between the verb and the particle. Jimmy put it on. On. Jimmy put on it. That is incorrect. When to separate prazal verbs? You can separate the verb and the particle when the object consists of just a few words. Example, Mr. Wilson called his appointment off. When not to separate Prazal verbs. You cannot separate the verb and the particle when the object is longer than four words. Correct example. Mr. Wilson called off his 3.30 appointment with Dr. Smith. In correct example, Mr. Wilson called his 3.30 appointment with Dr. Smith off. Inseparable prazal verbs. The verb and the particle 
can be spread. With these verbs, you cannot put the object between the verb and the particle, even when the object is a pronoun. Example, yesterday I ran into Ellen. Yesterday I ran into him. Yesterday I ran Ellen into. That is incorrect. Yesterday I ran him into. That is incorrect too. For my part, that's all. Then the next slide will be presented by my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Aida Shahida. I would like to continue the presentation. Uh, my name is Muhammad Fairudi bin Muhammad Jamal. For the phrasal verbs that must be separated, there is a small number of these verbs. With these verbs, you must put the object between the verbs. For the phrasal verbs that must be separated, there is a small number of these verbs. With these verbs, you must put the object between the verbs and the particle. For example, Tina kept her jacket on. The incorrect one, Tina kept and the particle. For example, Tina kept her jacket on. The incorrect one, Tina kept on her jacket. On her jacket. Next, three word phrasal verbs. These verbs are usually inseparable. Phrasal verb and a preposition. For example, Tina dropped out of school. Joe went back to his country. For example, Tina dropped out of school. Joe went back to his country. I would like to share uh, the, the example for two words and the three words. Okay, firstly, I want to review the two word phrasal verbs. First is out. Uh, the words that I uh, can use as out, blow out. First is out. Uh, the words that I uh, can use as out, blow out, break out, cross out, eat out, figure out, fill out, find out, go out, hand out, break out, cross out, eat out, figure out, fill out, find out, go out, hand out, help out, point out, print out, put out, take out, and throw out. There's a few examples for help out, point out, print out, put out, take out, and throw out. There's a few examples for out, down, break down, fall down, put down, sit down, tear down, turn down, write down. We have up, we have to break up, bring up, call up, cheer up, clean up, dress up, fill up, get up. Give up, grow up, get up, give up, grow up. Next, we have uh, back, bring back, call back, come back, get back, give back, go back, pay back. Put back, sit back, take back, and turn back. Go back, pay back, put back, sit back, take back, and turn back. 
Next, we have call on, get on, go on, have on, live on, put on, try on, and turn on. Call off, get off. Lay off, put off, shut off, and turn on. The phrasal verb is in, come in, fill in, get in, and hand in. Last for my presentation is the two phrasal verbs over, get over, go over, look over, start over, talk over, think over, and turn over. Okay, that's all for my presentation. I will have a look over, start over, talk over, think over, and turn over. Okay, that's all for our presentation. I would like to pass to my colleague, Mr. Muhammad Hamli Arifin. Thank you very much. I would like to pass to my colleague, Mr. Muhammad Hamli Arifin. Thank you very much. Three word phrasal verbs express a meaning using verb and adverb and a preposition. Now, let's go through a few three-word phrasal verbs. In this presentation, we're going to focus on 10 three-word phrasal verbs so we can master the meanings and the structure. The first one is look up to. It means to admire and respect. For example, many young students look up to their teachers. The second one is to get along with. It means have a good relationship with. Example, I get along with Paul really well. He's one of my best friends. The third, do away with. It means to abolish something. Example, the government is doing away with a large number of jobs. Number four, get away with. It means to escape punishment. Example, the boy got away with cheating on the exam, even though there were several witnesses. Number five, walk out on. It's meant to abandon. Example, I can't believe one of my best workers walk out on me. I never find an equal replacement. Number six, run out of. It's meant to finish the supply. For example, I'm running out of passion with these children. They won't stop screaming and shouting. This means the person's supply of passion is almost finished. So he or she is becoming angry. Next, number seven, come up with. It means to produce something, an idea, solution, or money. Example, the family came up with several thousand dollars to pay for the treatment. Next, number eight, put up with. It means tolerate something bad. Example, the poor teacher has to put up with this kind of behavior every day. Number nine, wake up to. It means to become away and recognize. Example, Many people are walking up to the dangers of a diet in high in sugar. The last one, the number 10, live up to. It means to become aware and recognize. For the example, the president lived up to his promise of reducing poverty in the country. That's all our presentation about phrasal verbs. And thank you.